Hi Elk Grove families! I'm a kindergarten teacher in Elk Grove and I'm going to show you how to go through this distance learning packet. Hooray! So you picked up the materials, you're excited, kids are excited, teachers are excited, but oh my goodness, this packet is huge. Where do we even begin? Well, here is the front cover. This tells you all the items included that will support your child's learning and on the back you'll see some awesome online resources listed. I'm actually going to highlight the Scholastic Learning at Home one because um, if you don't have books at home, you actually can find some here and some activities later in this packet include reading books and this one can support you for free. Okay, my packet might be a teeny bit out of order, but I'd like you to find this page and I'm going to use it as kind of a map to guide us through this whole packet. This is the suggested daily schedule. On the left is the subject and on the right are the daily activities. So let's start with daily reading and writing. I'd like you to locate these sections of the packet. So I'm just gonna kind of move this to the, over there. I'd like you to find the alphabet book section and then find the handwriting section that looks like this. You have alphabet book, then handwriting, and then um, the read aloud with questions, which is actually, the read aloud with questions is inside the kindergarten journal section. So that one we can put next. And then the next one is the phonics letters and word games, which looks like this. I'm gonna put it like this and then the high frequency words and the games on the front, then that section. And then the last one is the poetry and the bingo. So if you kind of kind of put that all together, that will just guide you right through here. So it says you'll wanna do one page of the alphabet book. So you'll take the alphabet book and I'm sure your kiddos are gonna to wanna to just fly through it, but it does say just to do one page each day. So here's the thing. Um, in this book, it will give you something for each letter, but the pictures to cut out are actually in a different section. They're actually in, let me find it, the phonics, letters, and words game section. So you could navigate them there, or I thought you could even just draw a picture of different items you can think of. Um, after you do the alphabet book, so that one is, you can check that off your schedule for the day. Then you do one page of handwriting, which I'm sure your kiddos will wanna fly through also, but to kind of make this last and to help you keep a routine and schedule, let's just stick to the suggestions and it says one page of handwriting. So then that is this, this is the handwriting. And then it says the read aloud with questions. So if you turn to the section of the kindergarten journal and turn it and it says read aloud prompts after reading a book, choose a prompt below that work well with the book that you read. And then here are the different questions you can um, refer to after you read a story. And then next is the writing journal. So it says choose a different prompt each day. So here's the different prompts. And then here's the paper you can use once you're done and you've written you know, your complete sentences and you have a story or you um, have a picture that goes with it and you've just done your very best, then you can cross it off and you've finished your journal writing for the day. Um, here is where, you, right on this front page, it tells you the directions for how to play the different games. And then here are the boards, the game boards. Um, and then that is the phonics letters and words. After that, this one is the high frequency word. There's different activities that they've put on the front. And then here are the words that you can use um, or refer to these words when you're playing the games. And then on the back of this bingo page, which I think was kind of in the front of the packet, but I just kind of chunked it in with all the language arts. Um, so here are some activities in the reading bingo and then on the back is the different poetry that you can recite and kind of keep practicing your rhyming. So that is the big chunk of language arts. And then we'll move on to math. 
Now we're moving into math. So here are the daily math activities. If you look at the math schedule and it says counting to 100, number of the day, daily math problem, number writing, math conversation, daily activity. Now if you look at the math letter to the parents, this right here is actually the same as right here. And it says each day your child will do six things. So before I show you where to locate those specific activities, I kind of want to show you uh, what's in this packet because there's a lot of different helpful resources inside. Like on this page, there's some um, really good YouTube video recommendations. Here you'll find a hundreds grid. This is really important. It's the math conversation directions. Then here is counting collections. This is a, an activity that you can do each day when it gets to counting, which I'll talk about later. And then here are the kindergarten math activities. So now what I'd like you to do is separate your math into weeks. So here I have the kindergarten math, it's week one. And let's just go through one day of math and kind of see where all of those are located which it goes right into that schedule. If you're gonna to refer to your schedule, it kind of looks the same here. So counting to 100, it'll say you can count that activity that day is counting from one to 20 on the hundreds chart. So now you know in this packet is where you'll find that hundreds chart. And then the number of the day is 10. So if you look at this, oops, excuse me. If you look at this, here is the number of the day and then it has all those activities for doing the number 10. Then it has a daily math problem, which is problem number one. So you'll look in here and where is daily math problem? So you'll complete that. And then, um, then it wants you to do number writing. So you'll just do one each day. This is more of like a guide and it has the resources in it. And then this, the, the math is pretty easy to navigate. It has this calendar right here and it specifically tells you what to do. Okay, the last part I wanna talk about is the daily activity. So you'll see here it says counting and comparing. So then you'll refer back to this and you'll go in here and there's the daily activity. So this is counting and then it lists all the different counting activities so you can pick one. And then there's comparing, there's patterns and sorting. So it's kind of all the activities are listed by category and then it will tell you which one to choose from on here. So I think that's pretty easy to navigate through. So if I was organizing it at home, I would keep this part in front because I know I'll be referring to it a lot. And then I have week one, then I have week two, I have week three, week four, and week five. So we've gotten, let's check our schedule. We've gotten through the daily reading and writing, we've gotten through math. Okay, now we're gonna move into science and social studies. So here is the science page it gives you and it says choose one or more activity from the science learning menu. And you'll notice there's menu number one and menu number two. So the activities are on there. Once you're done, cross it off so that you know you finished that one already. And then for social studies, it says the theme for kindergarten is learning and working now and long ago. And then it says it wants you to discuss those four questions. So if you look down here, it's the how can we learn and work together? There's the questions that you can refer to. And then here are the different activities and it has some of the coloring book pages and farming in various places, kind of looks like this. So that is the social studies. And then this is the paper that you'll refer to for that one. And then for PE, it looks like this, says something, April, drop everything and move. And then on the back, there's a May list. And so it says, just choose from the checklist. And then once you're done, just check it off. And it lists a bunch of different activities for you to get up and move in. 
The last section is ELD, and I am just loving these calendars because it makes it so easy to follow. So you'll see on this ca April calendar, the theme is let's take a trip, and then you'll go to that date, and it tells you the activity it wants you to do, and then when it says the using the read aloud card, it's actually this like piece of paper, and then on the top, it'll tell you that you're going to be using it for that whole week. And then also make sure you look at the back because it will have some extended activities for you to do there. And then, woohoo! You've gone through your daily schedule. You know where everything is, and this is going to be great. We're all gonna do an awesome job, and we are ready for distance learning. Okay, so before we finish this video, I wanted to show you how you can access um, the learning materials online. So I just went into my browser and typed in EGUSD to get me to the homepage. I go to that top left box and I scroll down to academics, then curriculum. Then I scroll down again and I click on instructional materials distance learning then scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find distance learning materials for kindergarten open it up in your drive you can download the kindergarten version and it gives you the instructions and then you can also find the translated directions there too if needed click on it in your drive. It has it all ready to go for Spanish, Hmong, Vietnamese. I'm just kind of opening it up so you can see what it looks like. Just scrolling through and just in case you might lose a page or, or want it translated, whatever will work best for you and your family. I sure hope that was helpful. We miss you so much. Happy learning at home. Stay safe and hope to see you soon.